In this video, I'll show you how to maximize the feeling of shallow depth of field when shooting shallow depth of field portraits. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers, and today you join me in my small home studio for another portrait shoot. Now, this time I'm gonna do portraits with a shallow depth of field, but this video is all about taking the shallow depth of field and making it look and feel as shallow as possible. Now, to do that, I've got some great hints and tips coming up, but let's talk lighting very briefly. I'll be using a speed light, the Olympus FL900R as my speed light because I want to use high speed sync. And to make that work with Olympus, I need to use a little tiny Olympus flash on my EM1 Mark II. Now, if you don't wanna use high speed sync, but you wanna do this technique, check out my previous video on the Adorama Learning Center where I show you how to use flash with wide apertures in a bright room and you can use any type of flash you like and still get the same results. Right, let's get some light set, let's get a model in, let's get shooting. So today I've been joined in the studio by Jade, who's gonna be the model for this shoot as we look at different ways of getting great shallow depth of field shots. Now, I'm gonna start with the lens, because fairly obviously you wanna have a fast lens with a wide aperture, and I'm gonna be using the Olympus 25 mm f1.2, which is the equivalent of a 50 mm lens on a full frame camera. I'll be wide open, f1.2 aperture, or whatever the widest aperture is, the smaller the number, the smaller the depth of field. That's the best way to remember it. Next thing to do to really maximize your depth of field is think about the background. Now I've got my standard black background here, which looks great in the shots, but is it the best for depth of field? Let's have a look. All right, Jade, let's just take a shot. Here we go. And as you can see, that looks really nice portrait of Jade, but there's no sense of depth in the background. That black background could be in focus. It could be out of focus. It's impossible to tell. So behind my black background is my favorite wall and that has texture. And if you can have texture in your shots, well, that's gonna be more interesting than just black or just white. So let's get Jade back in again. And again, if you can go back where you were, perfect. I'm gonna take exactly the same shot. The only thing that's changed is the background. Here we go. That's great. I suppose when I say texture, what I really mean is pattern. It's the fact that this pattern is blurry in the background that gives this image so much more depth than the last one. If it was just white, black, gray, or any blank color, you'd really not get this sense of depth. So that worked really well, but what about the distance between the model and the background? Well, the further you get the distance, the more the background will be blurred. So let's change it and see what happens if we get Jade closer. So if you wanna go back against the background, that's perfect. Now if Jade moves back, I have to move the lights back. And let's take the shots like that. And as you can see, those are still blurry in the background because the shallow depth of field will do that, but it's not as blurry. Now, which of these is better? Well, that's entirely up to you. You're the photographer, you're making the artistic decision on how blurry you want your background to be. You can enhance the look and feel of your shallow depth of field shots with a little bit of posing work as well. Working with a model like Jade, who's an expert at posing, makes this so much easier. But I've got some really simple tips that will work for everyone. Now, normally when you ask someone to sit, they will sit like this. Let's just take a picture and see how this looks. Okay, Jade, here we go. And it looks really nice, nothing wrong with that. We've got a lovely blurry background, we've got a sharp, Jade, and all I'm gonna ask Jade to do is just to lean in to the shot. Now the more she leans in, the more depth I'm gonna get from her nose to the back of her body, and that's gonna be reflected in our depth of field shot. So if you lean in for me, Jade. However, when Jade leans in, what happens? Well, she falls out of the light. So remember, if your model moves, you might have to move your light as well. So there's another way you can use posing, and that's to get yourself elevated compared to your model. So you're shooting down onto them. 
Now, for this case, because I have a fairly small studio, we had to get Jade to sit down on the floor, and I need my ladder just to get myself a little bit taller. So we've moved the light around as well, and hopefully this should give us some nice shallow depth of field shots. Let's give this a whirl. Another great way of adding depth of field effect to your shots is by having some foreground as well as background interest. Now if you saw my previous video where I discussed shooting with flash and shallow depth of field, you'll know I used the wall in my studio for great effect for a shallow depth of field look. Now if you haven't seen that, go check out the Adorama Learning Center where you can watch that again. But if you don't have a lovely textured wall like me, well what about a little bit of fabric? So I've got some rather nice kind of semi-translucent fabric. It doesn't have to be, but you wouldn't be able to see through if we had it as solid fabric. Let's just take a shot like this to see how that looks. Okay, Jack, here we go. That's great. Now what you'll see I'm doing is I'm getting myself right up against the fabric. The closer I can get in, the more it's going to be in the foreground of my shot, and the more defocused that's going to be, the more blurry, and the more interesting the shot will be. Turn your head around so you pop your back up against the... Yeah, that's it. So we're going to put this all into practice by getting Jade to lean forward and just for the fun of it we're going to add a little bit of wind into the scene as well and hopefully get some great shots. So is everybody ready? Okay, let's take some pictures. Alright, let's set this first before we hit the wind machine. Okay, yeah, we are good to go. So Jade, you're going to look towards the light for me. Well, that really was fantastic fun. Shallow depth of field portraits, one of my favorite techniques, and it's something that works so well in a small home studio. Now, of course, if you like this technique and you want to see more, then you've got to click on the subscribe button. You can catch all of the videos from myself and the other amazing presenters of right here on Adorama TV. And if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.